All right here, in our series on statistical functions, there are three more functions we'd like to cover. They're all related. They are the rank, percent rank, and percentile. So let's start with the rank. Just as it states, the rank will return the rank whoops, of a value in a sample. You're going to specify the value along with the sample. So let's look at an example. As you've seen before, here are the list of the top grossing 100 movies in 2012. This data was pulled as of mid-November um, within the website Box Mojo. And as an example, let's look at Hunger Games. You'll notice that it is ranked number three in terms of top grossing sales. But our question now is how is it ranked in terms of the number of theaters it was shown in? So, in other words, let's ask that question. Where does the Hunger Games rank based on theater count? Okay, so we can use the rank function. Remember, start with an equal sign followed by the function name rank. The first argument would be the number of theaters associated with the Hunger Games, because we are curious about the movie Hunger Games and where it ranks. C4 is the cell. The second argument is the entire data range. So that would be the number of theaters shown in all 100 movies, which in our case represents our data set. So we scroll down from column within column C until we fit the entire data set. Click enter and you'll notice now that the rank is 7. So even though Hunger Games ranked number 3 in terms of top grossing sales, based on our formula, based on our function rank, we determined that based on theater count, Hunger Games ranked number 7. Okay, so that can come in handy, right? If you have particular data sets and you want to calculate rank, use the rank function. Percent rank. This is very similar to rank. The difference now is that it returns the percentage rank, otherwise known as the percentile of a value in a sample. So using our same example, right, we can ask the question, on a percentage basis, where does Hunger Games rank based on theater count? Or in other words, what is the percentile of the theater count for Hunger Games? When considering the entire data set being the top 100 grossing movies. So in this case now, our function is percent rank. And at that point, you would highlight the entire data range. So in this case, it sells C2, and we scroll down Our second argument is the Hunger Games theater count. In this case now you see that Hunger Games theater count ranks in the 94th percentile across our data set. And finally, percentile is a function that returns the x percentile of data values in a sample. X, that's something that you specify. So you may have heard people say, what is the 90th percentile of so-and-so, or the 95th percentile, the 99th percentile. You can now determine what that is using this function. So in our example here, let's ask the question, what theater count represents the 90th percentile across the top 100 grossing movies in 2012. Keep in mind, 90th 
can be modified to whatever number that you're interested in or what you are determined to calculate. And so we begin with the percentile function, followed by the data range, which, as you recall now, would be the number of theaters in column C. So again, we highlight that range here. Oops, let's see here. Here's a neat trick. We've already looked at that same range, right, in a previous function or a previous example, and we see it's C2 to C101. We can do the same thing here. Keep those numbers in mind, C2 to C101. Enter percentile, and rather than click and drag, you can simply type in C2 colon C101, and that captures the range. And the second argument now is the X, the percentile that you want to specify. So in this case, because we want to calculate the 90th percentile, that second argument would be 0 0.9. When you click Enter, the 3,770 is the number of theaters that represents the 90th percentile across the top 100 grossing movies in 2012. Great. Hope this provides a great intro to rank, percent rank, and percentile. You can check out more examples of other statistical functions and other functions in general uh, at our website, www.spreadsheetsolving.com. Thank you. See you soon.